so. Got it. All right. Okay. We need the words. <laughs> okay, guys. I believe it is going to start very soon. Do you know how that automatic starts? No. no. Okay. okay. Good morning, OLA. Welcome to Mercy TV. Today is Monday, September 26th, and it's the first day of Mercy Week. My name is Cassandra Australia. And my name is Emily Reed, and we are your hosts for this week episode of Mercy TV. As always, let's begin our morning in prayer. Since it's Mercy Week, we're going to begin our prayers with the Divine Mercy Chaplet. This prayer is kind of like the Decade of the Rosary, but there are different prayers. I will lead us in opening prayer, and when I say, for the sake of sorrowful passion, you say, Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Let's practice. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Sounds great. Let's begin. Please stand in your classrooms if you aren't doing so already. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the blood and body, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Sake of for you, blood and body, soul and beloved son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and the world. Pledge to the cross. I pledge allegiance to, to the, the cross, cross of Christ, Christ and, and to the faith for which it stands, one church, holy, holy Catholic, Catholic, and apostolic, with grace and salvation for all. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and, and the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Place your right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated, Ola. Well, good morning, Ola. Good morning, Emily. Happy Mercy Week. If you don't know, Mercy Week is a week-long celebration where we remember what it means to be merciful through the incredible example of the Sisters of Mercy. The Sisters of Mercy are a group of religious leaders that began their ministry in Ireland in 1831. 1831? Wow, that's 191 years ago? <laughs> I know, 191 years ago is a long time. During all those years, the Sisters of Mercy spent their time helping others. They even made their way from Ireland all the way to the United States. That's where we come in, Olay. <clears throat> in 1954, Four Sisters of Mercy came from Ireland and asked to start a school in San Bernardino. Can you guess which school that is? Um, Our Lady of Hope? N no, no. Close, but no. Our Lady of the Rosary? Ah, come on, Emily. I really thought you had it. Let me give you a hint. It rhymes with Our Baby of the Bumption. Oh, that's right. Now I remember it. Our school. They taught at our school for years. Exactly. Our school would not be here today without the bravery and dedication to serving others. As a school, we would like to thank those Sisters of Mercy and that for thank God for the Sisters of Mercy. And that's why we celebrate Mercy Week. Xander, do you know who Catherine McCauley is? Catherine McCauley. Doesn't ring a bell. Well, the good thing is, is you're going to find out today. All of us are. The theme of today is who are the Sisters of Mercy? And Catherine McCauley was the woman who started it all. As a school, we will all be learning about her story and the Sisters of Mercy during your religion time today. Each of your teachers will have special videos to show you all. Uh, lastly, I know what all of you are thinking. Are there more Sisters of Mercy? Are they still relevant today? And the answers are yes and yes. While they may not be in our, with us on our school council ca campus anymore, there are still many students Sisters of Mercy who continue their work around the world. There are even Sisters of Mercy who still work in our diocese. 
So we would like to express our gratitude for the building of our foundation of our school by doing a small gesture. We would like to say thank you. As an expression of gratitude, you will also work on an appreciation card of, for the Sisters of Mercy in class today. Remember that they traveled all the way from Ireland and decided that they want to work together to build a school that we all now call a home. Ms. Estrella will be dropping these off to one of the most prominent sisters of the diocese today, Sister Mary Frances Coleman. And with that, we would like to thank the Sisters of Mercy for all they have done for us. Remember to always take care of them at Remember to always take care of one another, just like the Sisters of Mercy did. We will see you tomorrow when you tune into Mercy TV. Stay merciful, Bruins, and have a happy Monday. Bye, guys. Bye. See you tomorrow. Oops.